Hello students, how are you today? I hope you guys are in a good shape. This time, we will learn about simple past tense such as its definition, patterns, and uses. Let's go! Before heading to the material, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hilda Sabrina. You can just call me Hilda for short. Okay, without any further ado, let's get to the material. So, what is simple past tense? Simple past tense is a tense used to express an action or event that occurred in the past. So, the event stop, begin, and end in the past. Have you got a little idea of what simple past tense is? If you haven't, let's look at the following conversation together to increase your knowledge. In this conversation, words that I pulled are simple past tense. For example, the word happened is the past tense of the word happen. So, when is the right time to use simple past tense? This tense is commonly used in conversation when the speaker tells of events that have passed. It can also be used when we write stories about past experiences. In addition, you can also find the use of this tense in fairy tale books that tell stories in the past. To understand more about simple past tense, you can pay attention to patterns and examples of sentence. In this tense, the verb use is verb 2 for verbal sentence and be used is be past form for nominal sentence. Wait, hold on, hold on. Verbal sentence and nominal sentence? What do you mean? Easy, easy. I will explain it to you. Verbal sentence is a sentence which needs a verb. For example, she ate rice and I drank water. While nominal sentence is a sentence which doesn't need a verb. For example, she was a doctor and I was so sad last night. Have you understood the difference between verbal sentence and nominal sentence? To understand more, let's learn the simple past tense pattern and sample sentence in more detail. For simple past tense patterns or formulas in verbal sentences and examples, you can see more in the following infographic. For positive sentence, the pattern is subject plus verb 2. For example, she ate rice. For negative sentence, the pattern is subject plus did not plus verb 1. For example, she did not eat rice. Do you realize something has changed? Yep, that's right. The verb used is verb 1 instead of verb 2 as the positive sentence formula above. Does anyone know why? Yep, because we've used did. Did is the past tense of do or does. Then we don't need to use past verb anymore. Next is interrogative sentence. The pattern is did plus subject plus verb 1. For example, did she eat rice? So, verbal sentence, if the sentence is a positive sentence form, make sure that the verb you use is verb 2. But, if the sentence is a negative sentence form or negative, or the form of a question sentence interrogative, the verb used is verb 1 because the past tense has been represented by did. For simple past tense patterns or formulas in nominal sentences and examples, you can see more in the following infographic. For positive sentence, the pattern is subject plus was or were plus complement. For example, she was a doctor. For negative sentence, the pattern is subject plus was or were plus not plus complement. For example, she was not a doctor. For negative sentence, we add not after a B past form. Next is interrogative sentence. The pattern is was or were plus subject plus complement. 
For example, was she a doctor? So for nominal sentences, both positive sentence forms, positive, negative sentence forms, negative, and question sentence form, interrogative, make sure that the B you use is B pass. Don't forget that the B use must be in accordance with the subject. You can take a look at the following table to help you remember the appropriate B for each subject. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. To summarize, simple past tense is a tense used to express an action or event that occurred in the past. I hope this material will increase your knowledge and may you understand what I have said. Thank you for seeing this video. See you soon. Have a great day. Bye.